Hey everybody, welcome back to March of the Machine Early Access, and it's time for round three of my new brews. This is Selesnya, eh, it's not really Selesnya, it's Naya Tokens. Naya Tokens, really fun. Um, go wide strategies, not really viable. It wasn't really viable in standard, so I was wondering if it would be viable with these new additions. And honestly, it has been really, really good. So, essentially, what we're trying to do is go wide and finish with Jetmir. That's like a classic that's been done before, and it's, it hasn't been very successful in standard. But with new cards, we have more consistency, we have protection, and that is pretty much exactly what this deck needs. Let's start things off with Invasion of Gabakan. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Probably not. Two mana enters the battlefield. You may look at your opponent's hand. Oh, actually, you do look at your opponent's hand. Exile non-land card from it. As long as it remains exiled, its owner may play it, but a spell, cost, a spell cast this way costs two more to cast. So, essentially, you get two mana attacks, whatever you want. So it delays sweepers, it delays removal, it delays your opponent's fable, potentially. Really good card. And then, if you deal... Three damage, which is not a lot. That's really good. Three damage to this, and you win the battle. Flip it, you get Light Shield Array. It's an enchantment at the beginning of your end step. Put a plus one, plus one counter on each creature that attacked this turn. That's really decent in a token deck. When you're going to be going wide, you want your creatures to stack up. That's pretty good. It's sometimes difficult to attack with tokens, so you won't be getting that much value out of this, I think, in general. But the most important part is actually not that static. It's Sacrifice Light Shield Array. And creatures you control gain hexproof and indestructible. And that is exactly what this deck wants. It was pretty much the missing piece in a go wide strategy. Some way to protect at instant speed, at no cost at all. So you don't have to hold a card up, which was the main downside of trying to protect with like a spell. This is on the battlefield and it's sitting there until your opponent plays something that, and then you just sacrifice it and bam, everything lives. Really, really strong. Skrelv is really good in this deck, obviously, because it can protect the Adli and the Cathar, the Jetmir, like a lot of your really important cards. That's obvious, but I guess we should move on to the next new card, Knight Errant of Eos. I think that's how you pronounce it. Five mana, Convoke. Uh, it's a human knight. It's a 4-4. Four, four. So Convoke is... Um, you get to tap any amount of creatures, and they pay for one mana each, basically. And they pay for that creature's colors. So if you have a bunch of white creatures, they'll only pay for white. So essentially, you can get this for zero mana if you have five five creatures on the battlefield in this deck. So it helps to cast this card by tapping your own creatures, which is really good with wedding announcements because sometimes you don't really want to. You want the, you want the token right from from wedding announcements. You don't want to attack, and you can just use that those tokens that are not attacking to pay for knight errant of Eos. And what it does is it enters the battlefield, look at top six of your library, you may reveal up to two creature cards with mana value X or less from among them, where X is the number of creatures that convoked. That's really good. That is very, very good. When you look at the cards that we want to get, essentially we're trying to convoke for four usually, but three is totally fine. Convoking for four gives us access to potentially find Jetmir, Guru Cathar, Adlin, Reinforcements, and Skrull. And if you convoke for five, you can find another knight, which is really good as well. So essentially, it's almost always a draw two cards for like very cheap because you're casting it by tapping your own creatures. So you get to cheat out mana, you get a four four, which is great, and you're getting two cards potentially. At least, I would say its value is paid if you get at least one card. And I think that's why it's so good. It's just because you can get one card and that's good enough. Essentially, we're trying to pop off with Jetmir which is a 4 mana 5 4 creatures you control get plus 1 plus 1 vigilance as long as you have 3 or more and then they get plus 1 plus 0 again and trample if you have 6 or more then they get plus 1 plus 0 again and have double strike as long as you control 9 or more creatures and that's pretty easy to do I'm going to be honest with this deck the last card we have that's new is Archangel Elspeth she's a um, planeswalker 4 loyalty plus 1 to make a 1 1 uh, token with lifelink which is good Minus two, you get two plus one plus one counters on a creature, becomes an angel, and gains flying. Now that's really good to attack battles, for example. So that's really good. And then the minus is fine. It's not great. It's just minus six return all non non permanence with mana value three or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. We don't have that many, but it's totally fine. Like you're getting decent value out of that. But most of the time, you just want it for the gift flying to stuff and making more bodies. The mana base is totally fine. We have a lot of 
early untapped lands with the pain lands. We don't really care about taking damage really in this deck. We've got the fast lands that are really fantastic. We've got the Murex to build additional board presence for Jetmir potentially. And we've got two plazas to potentially protect Jetmir um, in the mid game if you played it previous turn and they didn't have a removal spell or in the ultra late game where you have like eight mana. But yeah, this deck works. This deck is good. Best of one doesn't have that many sweeper decks. And even if there are sweepers, again, you have the invasion to counteract that. So yeah, hope you enjoy the matches. That's going to do it for my explanation. Wait, how do I... I thought I had enough green. 12, 16... 12, 16, 17, should be enough, but fortunately, maybe I need, no, I have, I have like 18, oh, there we go, I was going to say, it's very unlikely I don't find it, alright, let's see if they're playing sweepers, <laughs> essentially, this deck is, is your opponent playing a sweeper dot deck, okay, they are not, that's good. I should have an okay matchup. Pretty slow start too. I had a perfect curve out and I'm going to I'm going to do really 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 good things here on my turn. Potentially get a jet mirror. Da, 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 da. So we want 4 That's not bad. That ain't bad. If I do say so myself. All right, sweeper time. <laughs> sweeper check. I guess we got the five mana. Rabble rousing time that I don't have. Okay, Adeline dead. Still have large board state. wonder if I need another... I, I, I probably do need to play more Sweeper Protection. <laughs> this, is not, this is not enough, I think. This is not enough. I can feel the, the fear. The fear of the Sweeper. It's taking over me. Mm. I definitely want to swing here. Probably just take, take this. Protect this. Get the card. They get one token for free, but I get a card. I'm trading a token for a card. Yeah, the problem is Rabble Rousing has like zero synergy with the, the, the battle. Like, it actually has zero synergy, because you're attacking, you're sacrificing your whole board to gain a new board, and then those tokens that are dead get plus one, plus one. Definitely not super good. Another knight, though. Yeah, I'm playing Skrelv. I sure am. Legendary land, kind of useless. <laughs> okay, um... I do want to attack, so I probably just make the tokens first. A little bit unfortunate. I mean, I can get... I can't... The thing is, I can't get another knight by only tapping four, but... Do I need another Cathar? I doubt it. But better safe than sorry, right? I do want the wide board state, but... So taking two out or waiting a turn... Uh, I'll wait. I think they'll block anyways. Yeah, since I have the potential win here. Iron Wolf, thank you for the raid. Appreciate it. Oh, that's... Oh, never mind. Good thing I didn't... Okay, good thing I didn't attack. Okay. 
I completely forgot to read the cards. I forgot this can activate on my turn. And then this gets plus one, plus one. Okay, well. We do have uh, the one and only. The one and only. Eh, let's go for this, I guess. Yeehaw! You remember now on the Texas? <laughs> so, so weird. This deck is weird. Yeah, this deck needs Jetmare. Where, where's the Jetmare? Why are you playing? Why is Mondrak in there instead of Jetmare? Anyways. Okay. Uh, wow, interesting hand. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Wow, weird, weird scroll too. I get a free attack, yay! Oh, is everybody playing this or what? Kind of crazy. Game of combat. Yeah. They don't even have green. Yay, one damage. That's why I like Brutal Cathar, because technically on three, I can remove their two drop and attack the battle. Oh, wait, no, but I don't have any creatures if I play the battle. I can play the battle on turn four. Oh, again. There's, they just drew another one. <laughs> cool. Well, I mean, they attacked, so. You know what that means. Flippity flip. Give me that. Give me that. Yay. Protection. Creatures you control gain hexproof in a circle. That's really, really good. Why is it flipping? <gasps> no. <laughs> no, actually, I mean, yes. I don't know. Yes or no? Like, that's fine, I guess? Because they would, the, the scroll was going to protect whatever I flipped it anyways, but I kind of wanted that to be like a first striker still. I mean, since I already have protection, I might as well just tap this for three. That's actually so cool that <laughs> if Yunus is like casting the flip side of battles, it just dis disrupts the day-night cycle. Three. Yikes. What else was there? Uh, two, two more knights. That's really not good. That is very not good. But whatever. Now ah, they have removal too. Oh, they can cast that. Oh yeah, they can cast that. That's a Phyrexian. Incubate twice. Oh, they're just playing Butcher. Was this to sacrifice three other creatures? Yeah. Wish I could kill that. At least I get to take the Elish Norn, so it won't be that much of a problem. And I get a pretty big swing here, too. This is why I wanted, um, the adversary. Do I want to full swing? Do I want to transform one of these tokens into a 2 2? I don't think so. They're already because. No, I, I don't think so. I think I want my wide board state. But it does, it does deal one damage though, which is kind of interesting. I think my wide board state is better. It's actually so good that I have a flash creature because if I'm floating mana and I get the draw from waiting announcement, I'm able to use the mana on my opponent's turn. Wait, they have to pay one? Oh yeah, because they only have pain lands. And I have Skrelv. 
Nice. Wait. This has to be lethal, right? Yeah, that's lethal. Yeah. Okay. Good stuff, good stuff. I'm playing against a lot of, like, creature decks. As long as I don't face, like, pure control sweeper, sweeper, sweeper decks, it's fine. And even against those, I have, like, a small chance of winning because of the sweeper protection. Okay, no one drop, but... See how this goes for me. I also feel like I want... Or I'd lean. This deck is like impossible to build. Like I want I want 4x everything. And I want cards that are not even in the deck. Jeez, this is gonna be tough, I think. Actually. Yeah, this is gonna be difficult. Wow. I think I have to take Fable because it's gonna. I think it's their best card, obviously. But it does screw me over that they have. Go for the throat. At least I have some countermeasures with Wedding. I just have to take Fable because it's gonna generate mana, anyways. I wonder if they're killing that. No. Well, I'll play a weaker creature in the hopes that they kill it. I wish I had the flash. Oh my god. If I had joined the dance or absolute re or yeah, resolute reinforcements, it would be so good here. Alright, sure. That means they don't have mana if I could finally use Adeline. Yes, very good, very good. The surprise Adeline into into plus two, plus two. Wait, does that work? No, I... Wait, what? Oh, that's not... Oh, wow. Yeah, because battles were never a thing, so... Ah, that's unfortunate. I feel like it should be able to attack battles, but... Because this is an older card, it says player planeswalker. Instead, because it doesn't... These didn't exist before. That's a little bit unfortunate, I feel like. But it is what it is. I was pretty excited about that interaction, but since they can't attack battles, it's really that's really underwhelming. Now I wonder if this the, the question is that attacked. This was attacking. Does that mean I don't get the counter? I don't know. Yeah, I don't. Oh, wow, that's... Oh, Adeline is so underwhelming. It doesn't function at all with, like, battles, and then the array doesn't work. It's really, really awkward. Pretty unfortunate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll do Soul Titan next, actually. I don't, I don't know. I don't want to play too many token decks. Alright, this is fine. I guess since we're already playing tokens, I, I think we stop it here. I think this is the best possible version of tokens. The next step from this that would make the deck better, I think, is just go straight up Naya Legends with the battle. I think that's pretty good. I do think Naya Legends with the battle is pretty good. And I think it's better than this deck. With the Knight as well. I'll play Knight and battle. Ooh, this looks like a combo deck. I'm a little bit scared. I can't really let them go. Uh, that's interesting. I don't want to, I don't want to let them go that wide. But I also need to develop this. Yeah, I guess it is what it is. I can't, I can't. I can't do this. I have to, like, it's slowing me down too much.
Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll check it out after. Oh, this is rough. And they have something. Wrong land, but found the land anyways. I do have... Yeah, I don't have that many red sources. Maybe I need to add one more. I don't know. Actually, I do have a decent amount. Did I see the infinite equip deck? Yeah. I think it's a meme. It's fine. Not that good. This deck probably doesn't play sweepers, I would hope. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is a go wide deck. Like, very wide. The widest. I forgot I get to take both anyways. Mm, I know they don't have the spell, so I'm just going to take them. So they get one less prowess thing. If I play this, I can double spell potentially. But I think this is kind of relevant. Eh. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I don't think double spelling is going to be that important. I just got to dodge a sweeper. And I need a red. If I find a red, it's over. If I find a red, it's done. They're cooked. Sure. That's fine. I mean, once I get trampled, it's done. But until then... Okay, I have three turns, basically. Come on, red swords. Nope. I can probably attack here. Yeah, I can probably swing. I don't think they have lethal on the swing back. It would get rid of most of my board though. Actually, not most of it. They would get rid of an okay amount, I guess. But I need the card. I need I need the I need the land. I'm willing to die here. If, well, I think they have to block a few, right? Because technically lethal. So just technically they have to block like two. And I also have a decent Defense line in a 10-5, so. Or whatever, just 5 toughness. Actually, it's going to be 6 toughness, which is even better. And I can find the flash creature or land. That would be good. I have two good draws here. They're going pretty low. Why is it asking me every time? <laughs> Oh no. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, I'm playing tapped red sources. That's probably not good. That's probably not good. Because most of the time I will need to like top deck a red source and that stops me from doing that. I think it's still lethal. Yeah. yeah. Maybe it wasn't. But it was close. Uh, a very awkward mana, but... Is what it is. Huh? Man, this sucks. This really sucks. I think I have to invasion now. I have to stop their curve a little bit. Jeez.
That is rough. Okay, this is... This is not good. That is not good. This is a bad matchup, I can tell you that much. At least they have to like miss multiple land drops for me to have a chance. This is a 18-6 by the way. <laughs> okay, that is interesting. But I can't play it now. Maybe I can. Maybe I can. I feel like I need to start I know, I need to start developing my own stuff. That's really unlucky I drew two Mirac. It's gonna be awkward. Uh oh. One more turn and I lose. Please, one more land. Just miss one more land. Or give me Cathar. Give me Cathar. Uh oh. Uh oh. I can't play this. It's too. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no. Very unfortunate. Bad mana. Bad matchup. No Cathar, please no land. Please. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Give a chance. Give me land. Give me land. Good. Very good. Three. Jetmir? Oh no no wait. No, I can't get it. So Cathar? Double Cathar, not bad. Oh, I could have done re- Oh, I forgot. I forgot you could tap. That's my bad. I misplayed. I actually forgot that you could tap creatures that are not- That are summoning sick, or whatever you call it. So I could have done this and paid zero for this. That's my- That's my mistake. I, I just forgot. That is going to cost me a little bit, I think. Definitely. It's such a weird interaction. I'm not used to like tap effect being useful when the creature comes in that that turn. I guess invasion is not that useful though. So in a way it's not the biggest deal. Okay, they found it. Alright, good luck. Good luck, good luck. Good luck. They actually only found land? That's so lucky. I I guess I did get lucky, yeah. Legendary land, very good. Um this. Grab that. Second siege to Oh man, they didn't even let me play. Hmm. Alright, well. Yes. Very good, very good. Let's go with this first, then this, join the dance, wedding announcement, Cathar backup, try to find another one, or Jetmir, or the knight. I really like the knight. The knight is so good. Like, card advantage is the main reason token decks have, like, an issue, I think, is that they don't have a way to draw and play a creature that's really efficient. And this is definitely that. Th this is definitely efficient. I wonder if I want a token here. Or if I want the card. I think the card is okay. I might not be able to get the card next turn, so... Yeah, that's okay. That's actually unfortunate, because now... Well, hmm. It's alright. Ooh, this is a bad matchup. Okay, it's just it's just mono white mid range slash control. This is really bad. They have they probably have farewell. Good thing I drew then, because I need to finish the game like really quickly. I don't have time. I don't have the time to like go super wide. This is gonna be tough. What do they have? Maybe Ex exile. Oh, the oh you can discard battles. Whoa. Uh, di oh, this is a reanimator deck. Jeez. Oh, that's gonna be bad. It's gonna be real bad. Wait, what? That doesn't look like a reanimator card. 
Triple draw? I don't have untapped land, it's awkward. Do I want triple draw? Or do I want Omega board state? I think I just drew triple draw. I need cards, yeah, I need I need specific cards. I need Jetmir, I need Adeline. I need the Knight. Invasion. Not bad. Gotta hope they're not playing farewell. <laughs> if they play fair uh oh. Uh actually that's fine. It does stop most of my stuff though, but I just found Jetmir, so. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna Oh, that stops this too. Jeez. Never mind, that's actually really annoying. Yeah, that is actually really annoying. So I guess I just play I just go mana efficiency. Instead of playing a 1-1. One -one. That is so annoying! Ah, every single I look at the battles. It's actually pretty anti-fun, but eh, you, do, you gotta do what you gotta do, you know? Some people play Fable, some people play Elish Norn. Wink wink, I've also played Fable, so <laughs> what can I really say about this? I doubt they have a way of dealing with this, though. So. Nah, uh, this is tough. I might have to stall even longer. Like, this is not, this is not nearly a, a wide enough board state, but I can't go that wide. Okay, that's fine. This is worthless. I just have to go wider, right? Wider. Probably, am I winning next turn? I guess that's the question. Do I want to win next turn? If I want to win next turn, I probably should do the small join the dance and then just play like Cathar. Fine, I'll, I'll go as wide as possible here. Oh my god, if they... Oh, if that farewell is just... It's, it's over. But there's no way they're playing farewell with torch... Uh, with touch, I mean, right? There's just no way. At least if they sweep, they lose their entire... Oh man, maybe that, that was bad. Because in this case... Oh no, if I draw a land, I can do this and this still. Not that bad. I'm so scared that they can answer this and then I lose. I have to wait to 8 mana. I'm just gonna swing, right? I don't need this. Wait, actually, I should just play it. Because even if they have an answer for it... Wait, I can... Oh, I can't do that. Okay, I should still play it. And if they have a removal spell for it, that means they can't remove these, which means they're dead as well, right? Let's go! Come on! At least they're giving me Vigilance. Alright, they had an answer. Okay, now do they have another answer? Because otherwise, I can play two spells and flip this and take that. Then if they have a Sweeper, we're screwed. We're Ebenezer screwed. Come on! Six times four! Come on. Even if, I mean, six times one and... Ward. Yes. You have to pay three. Okay. Now what? We beat Mono White? I mean, they're, they're not really playing like a control, like super control version. It's just more like a mid-range. A triple wedding announcement does it, you know? Sometimes. Most of the time. If you enjoy my content and would like to help me keep making it, consider joining my Patreon, where you'll gain access to a bunch of bonus videos, written sideboard guides, metagame tier lists, so for standard best of three, for example, ranking all the decks, some game theory guides, as well as deck building guides, and other services depending on the tier, of course. Thank you to all the lovely patrons that are already subscribed. And uh, I hope you all enjoyed the video and I will see you all in the next one.